to him. Let's go now straight for bond market reaction then uh, to those minutes. Simon Michelle from Fig Securities joins us. And Simon, what did you take out of the minutes in terms of, I guess, any bond yield reaction at all to, to RBA rate cuts going forward? Good afternoon. Look, it looks like uh, they've really sort of discounted, I suppose, those global factors. It sounded quite uh, positive and uh, I think the market's reacted by pushing yields up. Yields up around about seven basis points. And uh, if you have a look at the two year, uh, it has been down around 1.75, up, up around 2%. So market really starting to discount the possibility of another easing by the RBA. What about globally? I mean, obviously we've seen a recovery in oil prices. That no doubt helped global yields. Very much so, uh, Ingrid. Oil price is very much driving yields at the moment. Uh, we saw that last week when we had that positive rally in the oil price. We saw people moving out of bonds back into more risky assets. That was reversed yesterday uh, when we had that volatility on the Doha uh, inability to come to an agreement. And then obviously we've had this uh, issue come out now. Uh, around strike action, which has pushed that oil price back up. And, uh, and so investors are happy to move back into this gas set. So uh, quite a bit of volatility out there at the moment. And just before we go, tonight, obviously we hear from Glenn Stevens. He's uh, speaking in New York. I think the speech hasn't been titled yet, but what will you be watching for in that speech? Well, I think something I'm going to be looking for is how he's looking at those global factors. I mean, uh, the uh, ability for the RBA to maintain its current interest rate settings is very much going to be driven by uh, how quickly the US moves up its interest rates and that's going to be uh, due to external factors. So I'm looking to, for Glenn Stevens to start bringing a bit of that into the conversation. Uh, we know that we've seen by, by the ECB and Bank Japan continue to push rates down. He's held firm. Uh, is he going to be able to continue to do that? Is he going to have to follow them down? And that, that's going to be uh, driven by those external factors. 